So after you've allowed the salicylic acid to spend some time inside of the chilled ice water, about five minutes, you'll see a further quantity of crystals appear over the in the solution I should say. So the crystals are now ready to be filtered out and to filter you use this apparatus here, uh, a Buckner flask uh, which is here, this is the Buckner flask. We have a Buckner funnel and we have the o-ring. Information of how to set this up is found in a further video file that you should have access to about how to filter by the Buckner funnel but you place the o-ring over the top and then you place the filter funnel in position here, the Buckner funnel. And note as well that I've clamped the apparatus together so this is firmly secured onto the bench. So you place the, the black o-ring for the, the vacuum seal and the, the, the funnel has got, containing inside of it, some filter paper. And the filter paper needs wetting down in position by the use of some cold ice water. So it says in your procedure that you should wash the, the salicylic acid crystals out of the beaker with some cold solvent and this is cold water, ice water. So take your water bottle and place it into your ice bucket if it's appropriate before you start to filter. Then what you need to do is to literally um, filter via here and you'll need a source of vacuum. So in each lab there are some taps which is the vacuum line, so I'll just turn this on to hear a whistling noise. So you apply the vacuum tubing towards the edge of the funnel and then I'll just put this back in position. Then the piece of vacuum tubing goes onto the lip part of the flask and it goes on with a twist and a push. You put on with a twist and a push so it's nice and secure. And then while in position you're now free to actually start to filter off the crystals of salicylic acid. So you pour out as appropriate, and then make sure that's right. So you pour out as appropriate, and you'll have obviously some crystals of salicylic acid in here. So you should take the stirrer, the, the, either your spatula or the stirring rod, and you should filter into the funnel as appropriate. Now, you'll notice now in here, I have a black magnetic flea. I've put this in position on the hot plate stirrer before in order to assist with stirring. Uh, so the hot plate stirrer is a stirring mechanism for them as well. So we use a magnetic flea to stir or agitate the solution. And as I'm pouring along my salicylic acid, acid crystals into the button of flask, I make a decision to try and funnel out the flea like this. So that's got some crystals of salicylic acid on it. So I now just take some of my water and wash the flea and the edge of the spatula with the cold solution of water, the cold water solvent. And that's nicely done. And now I can place this to one side ready for washing. I take again my spatula or stirring rod and I now try and scrape as many crystals of salicylic acid into the funnel possible. Once we've done that, we now start to wash with cold solvent. So I try and wash the beaker with quantities of cold solvent, maybe one mil, two mil at a time to transfer as much as the salicylic acid over into the butler funnel as appropriate. So we wash once, twice, maybe three times with quantities of cold water. Each squirt is about one mil, two mil of water. There we go. So we, we transfer all the salicylic acid out as much as possible into the funnel. And now very carefully we break the crystals up with the spatula or the stirring rod and wash with another one mil, maybe two mil, and maybe three mils worth of cold solvent. Now that's the case, we've done that, we now 
turn the vacuum on even further, and we allow a period of maybe five, ten minutes worth of time on the top of the bottom of the funnel, and we air dry these crystals, and then these crystals will then go into the oven on an appropriate watch glass. So you're then to put these crystals into the oven for a further 10, 15 minutes if it stays in the instructions to feed the guide and to dry off the water in the oven. The solution in the bottom of the funnel now needs to be transferred into a beaker and placed back onto the hot plate stirrer to be concentrated down to a volume of 25 ml. So we'll show you this in the next clip.